Hola, buenos dias. So Unified Ascension Nazareth here. Um, I'd like to thank all the subscribers and viewers uh, for supporting me as I'm supporting you as we're supporting each other and for the higher self for giving me a love and support. I really appreciate it. So today, um, well, we were talking about Space Continuum going through its energy core and its galactic system right now. So uh, we're still going through that right now um, and its transformation through its energies and its tremendous force that's going through its circulations and its body capacities and its ecosystems. So we're still going to be going through that because we're getting ready to finish the plasma force through its parallel and its uh, paradox. So it's two, two dimensions combined into one. So we're reaching two high frequencies rather than just one, E2. The E2 is the equivalency of a higher continuance of volumes and patterns of the voicing grids, which is the matrix grid. Okay, so if you're seeing um, uh, green dots or line formations that are green, uh, matrix grids, you know, the ch 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 uh, you know, that's exactly what's happening. So it's cross-referencing two signals through its DNA structure and your body capacitor as it's traveling through space continuum and it's on an extremely high uh, vibration. Uh, so as of now, you are going through higher intelligence and your connection force is a lot stronger. So you're going to find that too. Now I find... Uh, the further you go into um, dimensions, if you're cross-referencing, it's extremely important to know what intelligence you're dealing with as far as communicating. Um, if you're in interacting with higher intelligence, you, not only yourself, but your DNA structure will change through its intelligence. So you can challenge yourself through the energies that are going into you and understanding the graphical system. And you'll know exactly how to communicate with the intelligence because you're on their level through vibration. Everything is on vibration when it comes to space continuum, solar systems, galaxies, uh, multi-dimensions, uh, higher frequencies through harmonics. So um, this video today is more based on yourself, your ascension, your vibrations, and how you can reach higher intelligence through cross-referencing. Uh, so the cross-referencing through uh, harmonics, if anybody is on that level, they're going to feel a lot more at ease, but... Um, more intuitive with yourself, you know, the third eye, uh, you're going to find that connection force where it's tremendous going around its cycles through its chakra formations. So those line formations are connecting uh, through as we have already broke the link and now we're connecting all as one, going through that rainbow bridge and its full connection through the plasma force. So you're still going to feel that continuous flow of energies that are going around from head to toe but you're also going to know what it's like to actually uh, consume yourself through your body structures and your DNAs through space continuum how you can be self-involved through intelligence at a higher realm um, I mean we're talking spaceships uh, taking control taking command um, you're going to feel a lot more light and a lot more responsibility, especially if you're in the galactic system. If you're in the galactic system, you have so much responsibility. Now, I know there's people already there. They're either psychics or mediums or they're, uh, uh, their brain waves are connected through the archangels and they have full collaboration through relation partnership so they can connect through others through their vibration which is great 
the more they connect, the better through intelligence. So um, I'm now in the 8,000 air. You know, it, it goes through one energy to the next, but the, the high intelligence, once you reach that uh, vibration through harmonics, it's extremely powerful. And it's kinetic of force. Uh, the energies just flow throughout its universe. The multi-universe is combined. So uh, when you get to that point, you can understand cross-referencing. This is where it gets complicated because you have to understand the geographical geographical map system, the string theory, how you take one strand and you collaborate it into four and cross-reference through the signals. And then you're going to understand, I think the next thing you guys are going to go through is blockage, understanding planets and intelligence, how you need to communicate first before you go to another solar system. So it's like shaking hands with somebody, you know, you're just getting to know that person through their energies and intelligence. So once you're at that frequency level, um, you can have full collaboration through intelligence of any solar planet, any solar system, any energy star. Um, and you can also reach the G1 uh, star systems. That's the new era, the new hope, uh, the Galactic Federation, the year 3000. Um, that is the energy core. Now that's self-sufficient because that holds and binds the connection through alignments and its energy flow throughout its multi-universes. And that is on no bounds when it comes to vibration. It is so strong, you couldn't even get to that point uh, even with a force field because it has a continuous force of electronics its waving patterns are exceptionally strong and the the united uh, systems through the solar systems has its own kinetic waves to reach that level you have to understand harmonics. Now, the three dimensionals, which are doing extremely well, they're understanding their vibrations. And the life formations are understanding frequencies. Some are on harmonics, but not too many. And the people that are on harmonics are already in the Galactic Federation. And probably now they're commanding through uh, its solar systems and other planets through intelligence. It's taking lead throughout its universes and uh, collecting ideas through the collective. Collective is, is telling you exactly what to do when you wake up in the morning through the higher self. So you have that uh, amazing energy that just goes over you every single day and you feel vibrant and great inside. And you also can give back to the community, humanity, its nature, its oceans, its skies, its universe, its multi-universes. And then you have the, you know, the sacred universe, the sacred mind, the sacred heart, the sacred soul, the sacred self, definitive self, the higher self, the inner, the outer child. See how I go with one video to the next and I'm always, always adding things on step by step so you guys get a better idea how to go in sequence so you don't get lost in transition. And, you know, doing these things will help you along the way, especially when you know your, your vibrations and frequencies and harmonics because that's what energy is. Energy is based on that through the energy fields that you provide within yourself and your body capacitor through your ecosystems. Um, and the thing that you use most every day 
is your sensory perception, your audio perception, and your voice grid. Those are the three ones I use. Now, when you're cross-referencing through signals and vibrations and harmonics, the intelligence is going to be asking you more about, you know, what you already know and how to get to a higher dimension. And remember, dimensions are all based on frequencies. So when you're at that plantation, uh, well, you can actually say it's kind of based on alienation. Alienation is, a, is another solar planet through its star systems. And that also has a kinetic energy through its force because they have safe havens on ground formations. And that's where they have their communicating uh, devices throughout its atmosphere and its new planet because they're helping too. All intelligence is helping right now. We're all on board on this so we can get across that rainbow bridge. Uh, the next thing is going to be um, your frequencies. Um, you're going to get a, a higher, higher vibration. It's going to feel like a jolt. You're going to go, it's like a, bzz, it's like a buzz. It's like a, bzz. that's what you're going to feel because now the plasma force is going a lot stronger through acceleration speed and you're reaching a high altitude now. So the higher you go, the more intelligence you see through frequencies and harmonics. So get ready for that because that's going to be pinpointing you pretty soon. And you're going to you're going to feel it. It's like a jolt. You know, it's like a zap. Uh, either people, everybody feels it in a different way because their energies are different. Everybody's energy is based on their uh, body capacitors and the, the volumes that they have of the height and it, it's all based on its outer and inner core uh, through its energy source so everybody's going to feel a different vibration some people feel it in the brain some people feel it in the eyes uh, the teeth uh, the heart the stomach uh, the body the arms the legs wherever everybody's going to feel it in a different way and they're also going to be seeing things through their eye perception, like orbs, light flashes, uh, a lot more intelligence, more energies coming in. And, uh, you know, the higher you go, the more you understand intelligence. And once you understand intelligence, it becomes easier because all you do is you always go up. And each time you go up, there's a block formation. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that, where uh, the higher self gets in touch with the planet. But he can't pass the planet until he understands its communication. Once it understands its communication, then it builds friendship through relationship and partnership. Then it can pass through. It's like a car going through a toll booth to get to one uh, city to another. It has to pay. It's the same thing with planets. He can't pass through solar system planets without, you know, letting them know who you are. Everybody has an identification code, you know, that is in their body capacitor that allows them to use their intelligence through the voicing grid. And those signals are brought back to other intelligence, to other planets and other solar systems. So once you get that full connection right there, You'll be under. You'll be able to understand block formation, uh, intercepting, interacting, interfacing. So that will be my next video on what you're up against. But right now, let's just concentrate on um, higher frequencies through cross-referencing through higher vibrations and its harmonics, and then uh, we'll we'll take it from there. And the three dimensionals, uh, keep doing your research. You do, you're doing a tremendous, great job. Uh, I'll keep following up on your uh, meditation methods and how well you guys are doing. Anybody that's ascending, anybody that's awakening, please ask me questions. I'm here to help you and guide you. 
Okay? This is your unified ascension Nazareth calling out. Adios.